How you doing, Brian? Doing well. How have you been? Crazy. Good crazy, though. <laughs> well, crazier than usual. A new way of doing business. <laughs> hey, before we start, I want to give a nice uh, thank you to Chris. I, I understand you're involved in the, uh, the next potential dairy giveaway. It sounds very cool. Oh, yeah. I know it's early stages, um, so it's not, it's too early to announce, uh, Mayor, but yeah, I, was, I asked about labels, and you mentioned your name right away, and I said, oh, that made me smile. That's who I was going to tell you to look to. Yeah, I, I went out to start mm -hmm. taking pictures of a particular location, and I made sure I had a quadruplex shirt on because I didn't want to get arrested for trespassing. <laughs> and you know, I'm wearing my mask. They're, um, they're, they're really good guys. I'm glad you're able to work with them. Yeah. And, uh, uh, well respected and really nice guy. We kept our distance. We shook weenuses or tapped. And, I, don't, uh, I don't know what that means. That, 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 when you oh, tap the elbow, okay. that, that, that's a weenus. <laughs> it's just fun to say. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna mute now, Mayor, and let you take over. Sorry. And I'll shut up. <laughs> well, there's not much. Uh, there, there's actually been several developments from what I understand uh, potential. What I've heard is for hair care, so salons, barbershops to be moved up to phase two, which obviously we just started phase one, but a uh, couple weeks less maybe for me to get less shaggy, so I'm excited about that. Uh, but over the weekend, I can tell that there were a couple people who reported there were some concerns about social distancing, and this has been consistent. This has been a trend. Uh, but the question, one of the things that came up with the nice weather, there were a couple of properties on Tompkins, uh, mostly student housing, where there were some populations. So we went and had conversations and just asked people to bear in mind. Uh, there was a lot of people, basically it was the last weekend for a lot of our uh, part year residents, college students before heading home. This would have been their graduation weekend. And some people may have relaxed their uh, personal standards a little more than they would have, and maybe a little more than most of us would like to see. Uh, but you know, at this point, we, we know that many people have left the community for a longer period of time now. Uh, things will be quieter. And uh, throughout the community, and I've talked to a couple of people who have said the same, it seems as if there is more activity even though the population is less than it was. Uh, so last couple of days, there's more cars, it seems, out and about, people going out. So a reminder that wearing our personal protective equipment, typically gloves and a mask, and practicing social distancing is still important because as we go forward with phase one, people will be interacting or crossing paths more. And not everybody will be, but many people will. We're going to be out and about more and as that happens, that increases the potential for exposure. So we need to all be good community members and pay attention to that. Um, so having said that, that basically gives us a summary. Over the weekend at the state level, there's been additional conversations listening to the governor today. Buffalo region, Western New York, will be opening effective tomorrow. Uh, they were missing one criteria. I think it was tracers, people that can help track down when somebody comes down with the illness, help track down who they've been in contact with. So we have another region in New York that will be opening up. And I think that's good news across the state. Uh, locally, I believe the number is at 39 cases total and five that are active. So our numbers are still small, and uh, we want to keep it that way. But, uh, you know, in terms of what everybody's doing, we want to make sure that we're protecting ourselves to protect everybody around us. The number of tests that can be administered is increasing. Uh, the statewide capacity is, I believe, 40,000 a day. And there are multiple places, in addition to your health care provider, there's multiple places where you can get tested. Uh, so Guthrie Cortland Regional, they're asking for appointments to help make sure that they don't get overloaded. But up there, Cayuga Med has a location over in Tompkins County, where you, and both places drive up and they'll do the swab. 
Um, it was a little bit entertaining watching the governor on camera yesterday do it, but I thought that was very instrumental because anybody that might be a little leery of having it done, uh, he had it done, he didn't sneeze, he didn't cry, and uh, did it on camera so everybody could see. So if you think that you're exposed, again, this testing is just if you think that you've been exposed and might be ill, there are resources and we want people to get tested. Uh, in the city, we're having a conversation about our employees and encouraging everybody if they think they are, have been potentially exposed to get tested because one of the metrics for us to continue to stay uh, open the expectation is we're, we're testing and we're testing a lot of people. So anybody that thinks they may have been exposed, please make an appointment, get tested, and it helps us know where cases are and then track down and help protect other community members. So that's what I have for my desk today and I'd like to open the floor. Bob, I understand that you've got a couple of things that you've been doing and there's additional feedback regarding the business community. Would you like to talk a little bit about that? Yeah, you might hear some more singing still. Um, Just adds to the day, it's wonderful. If you don't, if you don't mind. So this was a, a call with the business council just at 11 o'clock and they clarified a, a couple of points. Um, they made, wanted to make sure that businesses know the state fully expects you to have your written plan in place and for you to attest to the state that you've read and are following the guidelines prior to even opening. So the guidelines last week came out so late. I, I think they're going to be fine if somebody's already open, but they do expect that to get done right away. Um, in addition, though, to just having the written plan in place, you now are being asked by the state to have it posted as well. So I suppose if any employee or customer wants to see it, they have a, an easy to go to place to find it. Um, they also clarified uh, some of local government's role and, and while local government is in charge of oversight and enforcement, they can't add anything beyond what the state is asking for. So there's been some question locally about, you know, do we ask for people's plans? And they said, no, that's actually out of the question. That's, that's not going to be allowed. Um, so I think those were probably the biggest keys I took from today's call. Oh, what, one more. If you are an essential business who's been open all along, this whole new um, having a written plan and attesting to the state that you're following guidelines is new for you. They do not expect you to stop operations. Um, they are simply asking you to get yours uh, done and submitted to the state as soon as possible. Also, I guess I say one more and I keep thinking, if you are looking at being open for phase two, and if you, you look right now on the New York's reopen site, you'll see information for the phase one businesses, but nothing yet for phase two. Probably in the neighborhood of 90% of the guidelines that you're looking at um, are relevant industry to industry. So they're saying, go ahead and look at what's there now. Uh, hopefully before phase two opens, the state will have all of those updates out, but it'll sure give you a great indication of what you need to be doing and what you can put in your plan between now and then. Very good. Bob, uh, thanks for staying on top of all this and sharing information that's going to be helpful for everybody. Um, the obvious is the business owners, but it's also good, I believe, for everybody to have an understanding of what's coming up and uh, knowing uh, what the expectations are so that we're opening safely. Any questions or anything anybody would like to talk about today? Hey, Chris. Uh, by any chance, because uh, I don't have a written plan. I mean, we've been keeping the isolation, the airlocks, and all that fun stuff, and uh, people that are symptomatic stay home. Actually, I had one employee that wasn't positive, but he called in feeling funky, and I said, get tested. Um, so, but I don't have a written plan. So if you have a, like a, a format or an example so that I can make one or adapt it to our company, because not everybody does business the same way, it would help. Um, yeah, Chris, what they have, you, if you still have the link or I can send it to you again. Oh, I've got it. 
from the state. So if you Based look at thing, oh, yeah, so look at that manufacturing one okay. because you can look at the plan they have and you can simply customize it for you and put your name on it and print it. Okay. So it, yeah, it makes it pretty easy. They've done a nice job. Okay. Thank you. Very good. Any other questions? Anything anybody would like to talk about today? All right, just to wrap up, talking a little bit more on a more personal note. So the weekend with good weather, we got a lot of stuff done at our house. We found that uh, redirecting energy, in particular with kids, has been very helpful. Instead of just trying to sit in front of the television, doing new things, uh, putting some plants out, uh, hopefully some edible plants, wait and see how they grow and develop. <laughs> uh, I hope everybody is taking some time to do some things that uh, maybe a little bit you, you've always wanted to do, but haven't taken the time to do. And uh, as we're seeing nicer weather, seeing more people out for walks, things of that nature, and uh, not having a mask on while you're walking is acceptable. Just watch for other people, make sure you're maintaining six feet distance, and uh, being caring and concerned about your community members. So we're going to keep paying attention to what information is coming. There's been some changes uh, for all the way from last week to this week, but it seems like the start of phase one went off essentially without a hitch. Uh, definitely appears that there's more activity, but as we continue to stay vigilant, we're going to do well. Thank you, everybody, for joining today. Thank you, Brian. Thank you, Brian. Thank you. Everybody have, a good day. everybody have a good day. Have a great day, everybody.